Hey, I'm Kendra Winchester. Welcome back to my channel. So if you haven't watched much of my channel before, welcome. First off, thank you so much for watching. Just so you know, this is a series of uh, videos that I do on some of my most anticipated book releases for any given month. So this month is May, this upcoming month. So I'm really excited about all of these different books. I've picked 10 that I want to highlight for you that you can check out. And most of these are by or about women because that's what I research for the Reading Women podcast. If you want to learn more about the podcast, you can go check out the links down below in the description box or on the end card. I always have it linked there. You can go check that out. Uh, and so I research mostly books by women. So most of these are by women. So there you go. But I am looking forward to them. Um, there's always more. So if you have some books that I have not mentioned that you're excited for, please definitely put them down in the comments below so I can go check them out because I'm always looking for new books. My spreadsheet is never long enough. <laughs> so all of these dates are for US publishing dates. They are subject to change, so just keep an eye out for them. And also all of these publishers are US publishers. I'm not sure about all of the international information for that, but I'm sure that Google will let you know anything that you want to know. Uh, but they are all linked down below so you can go check that out and find more information about them. So the first publishing date in the US is May 1st. So we have uh, Welcome to Lagos by Chimbundu Anuzu. This is from Catapult. Uh, this is about a Nigerian army officer and he is ordered to kill civilians, innocent kill civilians, and he says no. So he runs away, defects from the army, and heads to Lagos. So uh, that's basically the premise of this novel. Um, this is a book that I'm very excited for. You've probably already seen it like twice already in some recent videos, just because I'm so thrilled for it. Um, I really hope that it lives up to expectations. This is a book I've been waiting to be published in the US for a while. So it's published on my birthday. It is my, it is like the publishing world's gift to me. So hopefully this will go well. Another book that I think is a gift to me um, is Roxane Gay's new um, anthology that she has edited, and that's called uh, Not That Bad, Dispatches from Rape Culture. And she has a bunch of different uh, contributors, and actually the audio is read, each contributor reads their own selection. And I've seen a lot of amazing press for this book. Um, it's out by Harper Perennial. And Roxane Gay, as we know, wrote Hunger, she wrote Bad Feminist, um, and she's been really working hard on this. It it's kind of along with the Me Too movement kind of inspired by, so I'm very interested to see what her anthology would look like. I'm not sure if she's ever edited uh, something like this before. I think, so I'm really looking forward to reading uh, this essay collection and see uh, what Roxane Gay has put together here. Also on May 1st is Trials of Apollo, The Burning Maze, and this is by Rick Riordan. Uh, this is published by Disney Hyperion. Uh, this particular series of Rick Riordan is about the god Apollo who's been put into a human form. This happens a lot. You know, he angers Zeus, his dad, and he gets put into a mortal body and has to like complete tasks. And this particular task is going around and uh, like saving different oracles. Um, you know, there's the Oracle of Delphi is one of them. There's a bunch of other ones, whatever. Anyway, so I just enjoy listening to this. This is like my escapist fiction. I love Rick Riordan and I just love how funny he is. I, I don't know. I just think it's great. It's enjoyable. And uh, I've read every single book that Rick Riordan has put out. And also now there's a Rick Riordan Presents. And I talked about um, uh, Roshni Chuksky's book that came out last month. And it's now going to be made into a movie, which is really cool. So anything by Rick Riordan or his imprint, Rick Riordan Presents, I'm going to read. So there you go. <laughs> The next book is a book um, by Jess Kidd. She wrote himself last year, which is like a genre-bending type mystery. And her next book is Mr. Flood's Last Resort by Atria Books. This is called something different in other countries. Uh, I think in the UK, it's called The Hoarder. Um, and it has a, a much cooler cover than, than we have here in the United States. I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but it is um, a book that I'm really looking forward to. Uh, so I have the description here on my computer. Uh, so it says, Maud Drennan is a dedicated caregiver whose sunny disposition masks a deep sadness. A tragic childhood event left her haunted in the company of a cast of prattling saints who pop in and out of her life like tourists. Other than visiting her agoraphobic neighbor, Maud keeps to herself, finding solace in her work and in her humble existence until she meets Mr. Flood. So I think this sounds really interesting. Uh, Just Kid has a way of taking like domestic life and making it eventful. And just the way that she describes things, she has a PhD in which she combines almost like horror elements and the detective novel. And that's just amazing. Like that is the perfect combination. And that's actually what she did with himself. So that's actually already out if you want to go check that out. It was a very underrated book, I think, last year. Uh, it was it's really cool. It's really hard to talk about as well because there's a lot of spoilers. So I'm sure this one also has that. 
so we're just going to move on. So the next book I want to talk about is actually out on May 15th, and that's The Ensemble by Alja Gable. Gable? And it says, this is an addictive debut novel where four young friends are navigating the cutthroat world of music and our complex relationships with each other as ambition, passion, and love intertwine over the course of their lives. This is out from Riverhead. And this is one of the most anticipated books, I think, of the book community. I've seen it absolutely everywhere. And of course, Riverhead has this gorgeous cover uh, and it's just ready to go. I'm really excited. <laughs> to finally get my hands on this book, but so is everyone else. So I'm not sure when I'll get a chance to read it, but you will find out when that happens, I'm sure. The next book that comes out on May 15th is Tin Man by Sarah Winman. It's out from Putnam. Now, you will have noticed that Tin Man came out in the UK uh, a year ago, probably last June, and I already have a copy of that. It's yellow cover, but this is the US cover, and it's finally out in the United States for everyone, and so I'm really excited that it's finally being published in the US and everyone can get their hands on it. Um, I've already reviewed it, um, but honestly, I would go check out a Simon or a Savage Reads review. Um, Jen Campbell also reviewed it. Pretty much everyone over in the UK already read it and reviewed it for you, so I would highly go check that out because they did such a great job with that. Also on May 15th is The Queen of Sorrow by Sarah Beth Durst. This is out from Harper Voyager. This is the final book in um, her Queens of Renthia trilogy. I can't really talk too much about it, obviously. Third book, spoilers. Um, but this is set in a world where there are like elemental spirits and the queens ha are the women who have magical ability to, to, to control them. There we go. So I really enjoyed it. Uh, this is a great series. I think it just it's just fun. Um, if you are particularly a fantasy fan, I think you will like it. I don't think it's a type of fantasy book that everyone will like. Like sometimes there's a fantasy book that even if whether you're not you're a fantasy fan, you will enjoy. I don't think this is one of those. I think this is kind of like for the, the fans, but that's fine. I think it's fun. This is a series I listen to when I've had like really intense reads and I just need a break. So uh, really looking forward to that one. So a book that it says the 18th, but I think it might also be the 15th because it's the US and we tend to publish on Tuesdays, uh, but this is uh, What Should Be Wild uh, by Julia Fine, it's out from Harper. And this is about a girl who, well, let me just read you this description. It says, cursed uh, Macy Calfe has never known the feel of human flesh. Born with the power to kill or resurrect at her slightest touch, she has spent her childhood sequestered in her family's manor at the edge of the mysterious forest. Um, and she's kind of a science experiment. I've seen this everywhere on Barnes & Noble because I think it's one of their discovery picks, but it's one of Harper's big titles of um, the year or season, whatever. Um, so if you've already read this, definitely let me know. I'm still looking for more reviews on it. Um, I haven't really seen it on the booktube uh, sphere yet but I'm looking forward to seeing uh, more chatter about it because I'm sure it will happen when it comes closer to the publication date. So now we're up to May 22nd and we have Mem. Um, I'm sorry, I know that's overexposed, but white covers are really the death of my iPhone. Uh, but this is Mem by Bethany C. Morrow. It's out from Unnamed Press. This is about a artificial intelligence like robot uh, which where, where you can take your memories out of your body and they become physical and then one of them becomes sentient and that's the, basically the summary of this book. It's a short, it's almost a novella so I'm looking forward to reading this. Um, I, I've heard good things about it so uh, but it, it sounds like something right up my alley. So the last book I have for you is a very quirky selection of short stories and that is Some Trick 13 Stories by Helen DeWitt and this out from New Directions. Um, this is just a really quirky collection that I've seen on a lot of different lists. I think it's supposed to be kind of like magical realism and just kind of, I don't know, weird and wonderful. Um, that's the impression I've been getting. Um, the description isn't, I mean, I don't know how you describe a collection of short stories because they're so uh, variety of different short stories, but I think it looks really interesting and I just think, I don't know, once to, it's just something about reading it and you're like oh that's that's a short story for a collection for me and that is exactly what I thought so I'm just gonna leave it there and if you have read this book definitely let me know again I haven't seen too many reviews on it but I have seen photos of people who got early copies so that's exciting so those are all the <laughs> top 10 books that I'm looking forward to coming out in May if you've read any of those please let me know what you think down in the comments uh, below I would love to hear that uh, I would love to hear more about any of these books because I haven't read any of them yet, so except for obviously Tin Man, but you know, there you go. Anyway, um, I guess that's it for me and I will see you in the next one.